to be unveiled in front of the entire WWE universe. It was supposed to be a moment in time that would last forever. A moment you know, when Sting popped out, I was shocked. Like, and this past Money on Raw was the best Raw of 2015. I hope it and praying that they keep this and up. Look, if not, when John Cena is around, none of you have any idea where do we go from here, y'all? Let me know. But let me explain to you who I am. I am the first man ever to cash in his money in the <clears throat> contract in the main event of WrestleMania and walk out the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And I am the first man in the history of WWE Every single legend that you could ever think of, none of them have achieved what I have achieved when I beat John Cena at SummerSlam. I am the first man ever to be the United States and WWE World Heavyweight Champion at the same time. That is greatness, and that deserves more than a statue of hell. That deserves a parade in every single town that I go to. Hollywood should make a movie about my story. Brad Pitt, George Clooney, Channing Tatum, they would all lobby to play the part of Seth Rollins in my biopic. August 23rd. The day that I changed the landscape of WWE forever when I beat John Cena at SummerSlam should be dubbed a national holiday. Do you understand that? We were set to unveil my statue. I joined the elite of the elite on Raw. We were taking me to immortality. I, I had joined Bruno San Martino, Andre, the ultimate warrior. I was set to take my place. It was supposed to be the greatest night of my life. But instead, this happened. Now there, you see the authority presenting basically the statue that they thought was a statue and it turned out to be <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the look on Triple H's face was priceless. But why is Sting's face paint messed up? I don't get it. I understand why you would be jealous of me. Hell, everybody is jealous of Seth Rollins. I have accomplished more in a few short years, Sting, than you have in your entire career. Sting, I sit atop the mountain of WWE while you toil the way for years in the minor leagues, pal. So yeah, I get it. I get why Sting would be jealous of me, but what I fail to understand is what, what gives you the right, Sting? to ruin my moment. 
to stand in my way to assault me without provocation to take my title and hold it over your head like I owe you a damn thing. If things wind up going for the uh, title, you think I'm afraid can't wait to see it. Only problem, I don't have my WWE network. No. I don't want it. You got paid it for the bills and stuff. Nah. I'd rather, rather go online and look for the results and go on YouTube to find the uh, result images of good or bad pay per views of all year long. So. So I begged Triple H for this match. I begged him, and I always get what I want. So at Night of Champions Sting, you get your opportunity to enter the realm of immortality. Let me guess. Immortality. In two weeks? It will be. Well, three weeks? I don't know. The architect, Seth Rollins, one-on-one -on -one for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Of the world. It's the artifact sting. And I can guarantee you, not only will I defeat you, Sting, but I will finish the job that Triple H started at WrestleMania when I crush your old bones to dust. I'm gonna tell you one thing. Out of all the superstars, Seth Rollins makes one of the best promos in WWE history. Let me say it again. Seth Rollins makes the best promos in WWE. Even though some of the fans hate him, they also like him because of his promos. Please welcome my guest at this time, Mr. Money in the Bank, Sheamus. Rock study. Sheamus, tonight you face Dean Ambrose in our SmackDown main event. Oh, Jojo. It appears that lately Dean Ambrose, the lunatic fringe, has had a lot in his mind. That's too bad because he better keep both his eyes directly on me in our match tonight. Because if he turns his attention away for just one second, I'll bro kick his fluffy haired mush right off his shoulders. Why? Because I'm the Money in the Bank contract winner. And you know what that means, Jojo? Do you have any idea what that means? It means that whenever I choose, I will be the next WWE World Heavyweight Champion. I suppose you could say it is what it is. Yeah, Ryback. Don't y'all think that WWE needs to make Ryback a new face? Because he has the potential. He needs to be the face. I wonder how many calories Ryback eats. I heard he doesn't like eating vegetables. Probably eat meat, ground beef, chicken, and pork. I don't care about the toys. I want wrestling. Do not go anywhere. Tag team action on the way and up. Animosity. Defeat 
fill this entire arena. Ryback teaming with Dolph Ziggler to face Rusev in Big Show next. All right, y'all, that's it for part two. Part three will be up.